Mornis. Welcome to my very first q and I'm going to address some of your questions for me, except the inappropriate questions. This is a Q&A, not a TNA. We had to keep it PG-13 for YouTube, tontos. I've already got kicked off more than once. I can't just keep on making new Google accounts. Oh, and I also will answer some ignorant questions. They're just ignorant. I can't believe how ignorant these questions are. Some of you idiotas really need to find a new place on YouTube to direct your ignorant questions. Firstly, from Stacy with a K, where did you live prior to becoming a nomad? I was born and raised in Cali, baby. A lot of people think that I'm just this uneducated hussy that exploits herself for money. Well, I have a college education, babosos. I have a bachelor's in human behavior psychology. Judging by my lifestyle, it really paid off. I also had a job in histology, traveling across states cutting people's skin off. Yeah, I know it sounds like something a serial killer would do, but it was legit, and I got paid for it. Another question is if I have kids. Yes, I have two kids. Yeah, I'm a divorced mother of two adult boys, if you can believe it. Looking at this body, you wouldn't guess, right? My two boys, they have lives of their own. They didn't want to go traveling across the country, living a homeless lifestyle. I've traveled in 34 states, but Arizona is a little tricky. It's hot, but I don't mind the rain, like some little sissies do. I love animals. Not only do I respect domestic animals, but also wild ones as well. Sometimes we have to respect the circle of life. Sometimes pets can be food for other animals too. That is why I love Eric so much. I love traveling. Sometimes I just get a ticket across the country. One time I traveled to India. Then I found out that we Americans have a spoiled life. They don't even use toilet paper over there. They just shit in a hole and you wipe yourself with your hand. They don't even have showers there. It shocked me, but it also made me think that I don't need materialistic things. The first thing I did was throw away my toilet and start shitting in a bucket. I stopped shaving my armpits, sold all of my furniture, my clothes. Someone asked me if it concerns me that Derek has treated his past girlfriends poorly. That's ignorant! Estupidos! Let me clarify that that's false information that is not true. Eric Jacobs has never hurt anyone physically or treated anyone poorly. It was Eric Jacob Hollian who was taken to court over domestic violence, not Eric Bartholomew Jacobs. If you go into the Washington State Court website and search the Superior Court's cases for case number 00-2-30272-7, you will bring up a domestic violence case with Eric J. Hollian as the respondent. See? Those are completely two different people. Eric changed his name, making him a completely different person. And I know you're going to bring up Morgan and Angela, too. They broke my Eric's heart. That Morgan, she gave Eric the ultimate disrespect by leaving him a great decoration. And Angela actually minded that Eric used her credit to get the Class A. That's her fault. She should pay for half of that RV that she only drove for a week. But Eric used for years. Who is the victim in that relationship? Eric! He treats me with respect. He's never done anything that I feel uncomfortable, and I've never seen him touch or do anything to any other woman in the brief time that I have known him. So, in my opinion, that is false information. I don't believe what other people say. Even though he did refer to his last girlfriend as a foster pet and berated a dying woman and called her a see you next Tuesday after she had passed.